Hello and welcome to another episode of Optics Train Debates. I'm Adrash. Theodor. And today we're going to uh, talk about different ways of uh, fixing the parallax error. With rifle scopes, there are three, two major ways of fixing mm -hmm. the parallax error, which is side focus, there I am. adjustable objective, and Theodore, what is this? Uh, a mixture of both. We are joking, sometimes this is a mutant <laughs> between one and the other. Well, the IOR has completely their own solutions. They, they move the uh, adjustable objective ring uh, closer to the shooter back so it's easier to reach it. But I think that the system works more or less the same like on the adjustable objective. So, what are the advantages of the side focus and what are the advantages of AO adjustable objective? Well, uh, it's really easy. With a side focus, you have a little bit heavier scope. It has to have a, a little bit more of space inside of the tube. So they are mostly 30 millimeter tubes or 34. Uh, but they give you the advantage that uh, you can always adjust the, the parallax while you're in prone position. So while you are behind the scope, it's really easy because you have the parallax uh, here always on reach. Um, with an AO, uh, so adjustable objective, uh, it's usually impossible to change it while you are lying and while you're in the shooting position because it's too far in front. So this is mostly meant that you're just fixing it once on a known distance and then you shoot. And then you completely change your shooting position and go and, and uh, fix it again. Uh, but it is, uh, it is lighter. It is smaller with less parts, so it's easier to, to make and usually it's also cheaper. So these scopes with an uh, AO uh, adjustable uh, parallax are usually smaller, lighter and cheaper, but normally they are not so um, easy to handle. What about this uh, mechanism by IOR? Are they just trying to stand out of the crowd or well, does this have a special purpose? Moving the not really. I would say that the basic principle how it works, so that it changes the position in the lens inside, it's the same like with with all other scopes with adjustable objective. Uh, but by moving this uh, ring further back, first of all, they they made a scope which is more robust because yeah. you can always, if you hit the scope on this side, you can break you can the mechanism. Break yeah. the mechanism here. You don't have this problem. Uh, you can withstand more recoil this way, I would say. And normally, even when you are lying in a prone position and you try to adjust the parallax, you still have it relatively close to this, uh, uh, to the normal position on the side. So I already came up with a quite a fantastic solution to Well, it's a good solution. I wouldn't say I still prefer the, yeah, side the, focus, side focus. the normal side focus. But they came out with a solution that works. Uh, I. We forgot to mention Kales also has a different parallax uh, system. They have a ring around the elevation turret. That's right. Uh, they, they are the, the third, or I would say the second manufacturer which decided to do something completely different. Deviate from what is yeah. done. Yeah. And I would say Kales solution is also very good because it's on the same position as with, uh, with normal scopes, with a side focus, but it can be used either for left hand users or right hand users. It's, it's easier because you can always reach it quite easy. Um, so these are, I would say, the main differences. When do we recommend, for example, side focus over adjustable objective or vice versa? When is one better than the other? In mm. which situations? I would say for, uh, for normal shooting on different distances, I would say for tactical shooting, let's say, on tactical competitions or in real tactical situations, side focus is always better. Because you're really able to easily change the, the parallax setting from one distance to another really quickly, really fast. Um, so then side focus is almost a must. Uh, adjustable objective, it's a good choice when you need a really light scope with which you will shoot on a known distance. That means, let's say for bench rest shooters, they shoot on 50 meters with a small caliber or, or 100 meters or 300 meters. They have a known distance of the target and then they put really a lot of shots on that target. They set parallax correctly only once and then they shoot. For those, this type of parallax adjustment is better because the scope is lighter uh, and it's more precise because you know you have a much more travel on an adjustable objective than you have on a side focus. Side focus can usually, like in, like in this case, can go around, I would say, 270 degrees and that's it. You can have multiple turns 
an adjustable objective. So you can you're able to adjust the parallax more finely and nicely, more accurate. So with yeah. specific target shooting disciplines, this is a popular choice. Yeah, with the bench rest, I would say with the bench rest crowds where grouping sizes of the pinnacle importance, this is the good choice. The mechanism is more precise. You set it only once, then you shoot a lot of shots and the scopes uh, are lighter so you can put them on heavier um, rifles. And the risk of hitting it somewhere is low because low. of the nature of the sport. Yeah, with, with all other shootings I would say side focus is not better. Let's say also on, a, on those high magnification hunting scopes, mm -hmm. you know, like 2 to 16 or 5 to 25, which is a, a new trend. Also in hunting, when you do only one shot and you don't know the exact distance to the game because you know the game never comes to exactly 100 meters, uh, the side focus is obviously the only choice if you have the adjustable parallax. I think that we covered uh, the most important features when it comes to fixing the parallax error with rifle scopes. I hope that we answered most of the questions that we received. If we forgot something, send us a question, uh, send us a, a question uh, via email or leave a comment in the comment section below and we'll be glad to answer it. Uh, see you guys next time. See you. Bye.